Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for September 23rd, 2021 from Psalm chapter 65, The Greatest Gift to Praise God. Verse 1, Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who hear prayer, to you shall all flesh come. The psalmist begins with words of praise to the Almighty God. But why is the psalmist praising God? Verse 3 reminds us, When iniquities prevail against me, you atone for our transgressions. I love this passage. It uses the word atone and transgressions besides iniquities. The psalmist is giving us a picture of the forgiveness of sins that we have through our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ which is the reason for the psalmist's praise. We need to remember that sin separates us from God. But through Jesus Christ, we are reconnected to God. And notice what the psalmist says about this. Verse 4, Blessed is the one you choose and bring near to dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house in the holiness of your temple. We are brought to God through the forgiveness of sins, and this is why we go to the house of the Lord, you could say, to church, to receive that forgiveness of sins that comes from God alone. And this is the place where the Christians gather to hear that precious word of forgiveness. And so the psalmist then continues in verse 5, by awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness, O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and the farthest seas, the one who by his strength established the mountains, being girded with might. Yes, we are only made righteous through the forgiveness of sins, and that is why the psalmist is praising God. The psalmist then continues, verse 7, Who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the, their waves, the tumult of the peoples, so that those who dwell at the ends of the earth are in awe of your signs. You make the going out of the morning and the evening to shout for joy. Verse 7 is a beautiful visual reminder of the time when Jesus was in a boat with his disciples, who were afraid because of the storm. Jesus then calms the storm and settles the fears of the disciples. Verse 9, You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide their grain, for so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty. Your wagon tracks overflow with abundance. The psalmist notes that God is continuing to take care of the earth, and the earth takes care of us. And so the psalmist rejoices that God is caring for us and that God's care of the earth will never end. God is constantly pouring out his care upon the earth and upon us. Verse 12, the pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with flocks. The valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. Because of God's gracious goodness, we are well taken care of. Yes, God does indeed provide for us, and we do thank and praise God for his many, many gifts. And while the gifts of God, God are indeed many, we dare not forget about the greatest gift, as the psalmist noted above, the forgiveness of sins. Because with the forgiveness of sins our re and our reconnection with God, we are now able to enjoy these gifts here and now and 
for the rest of eternity with God. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.